it's jungle map time. Dysolet have made a load of changes, and you need to know about them. I've had some amazing rounds on CTE today, and it's solely down to some awesome squad play with the people who joined me from Twitter on the server. We managed to fill it up by tweeting out a link, which was really cool, and uh, some awesome changes on the map design. For those who wanted this to look more like a jungle, well, that's exactly what you're going to get. But first, the new logging camp. This was one of the parts of the map that I thought that needed the most improvement overall, and boy, has it changed. Before, if you cast your minds back a little bit, you'll remember the area was, like, very barren and open, and, and it sort of led to gunfights not being very good. They were really lacklustre, and because there was nothing to really utilise as defence, well, that has now completely changed. The small river has been transformed into like this tunnelled area with buildings drafted over the top, all of which are fully destructible, like the ones in the village on the centre of the map. And it gives a really nice feeling for the area because you can fight over these destructible buildings and the flag is right in the middle of all that action. On the other side of the road, it, it's covered in obstacles like lorries and cement blocks and log piles, which makes it really difficult to manoeuvre vehicles through it like tanks or LAVs. It can be really difficult to get through there. And I also thought, having looked at it from above in a helicopter as well, it kind of looks like a really good location for TDM on the map. Now, nothing's been confirmed about other game modes other than Conquest right now, but we can assume that other game modes are going to be supported, and it looks like a really good location for where TDM could take place. The river can now be used by water vehicles, as Dysolet have added the PBX boat, and that's what I think it's called, it might be the PBR, I'm not sure, and the hovercrafts from the Naval Strike DLC as well. The rivers and channels are wide enough to support the vehicles the whole way round the map. Which means, if you're a good driver of the patrol boat and you've got a good gunner on there, you can attack the plantation flag, the waterfall flag, and the logging camp on a single loop of the map. It's another really small change, but one that, if you think about it, could lead to some really awesome moments when you're playing with your friends. You might notice a couple of times during the footage that vines have been added, but they haven't been textured yet. I'll pop up a screenshot for you now, and these are dotted all over the map, and it provides a little bit more visual detail and a reminder that you're in the middle of a jungle. It's really starting to shine through now. And a big complaint a lot of people had in the comments of my other videos on this map, I've done about five or six videos now going all the way through, was that the map didn't really look like a jungle, and I'll agree with you, some of the earlier iterations of this map weren't very dense, and the main reason for that was the devs weren't really looking for that kind of feedback at that time, and it's for that reason that I didn't really comment on it. They wanted feedback on the capture zones and the map layout in general. It's changed massively since it first appeared on the CTE, and now it feels very balanced and fun. And now that the layout is complete, we can start to feedback on the cover and the style the jungle is taking on. But as you can see from the inclusion of the new textures and the vines, things are really starting to come together. At this point in time, if the map was released with like no further changes, I'm pretty confident that 95% of people would say this is the best map in the game. Hands down, this for me, at least for Conquest, is so fun to play and it flows extremely well. Caspian was the best Conquest map for me before, and the only other maps in the game right now that give me the same feeling as, as what I get when I play the jungle map are Propaganda, which is just amazing for infantry conquest gameplay, and Zavod 311, because once again it's beautifully designed and the setting is one that I really, really enjoy. And a lot of people have made the comparison already that they wanted the jungle map to look like the jungles that were available in Bad Company 2 and I'm really starting to see the greens and the browns coming back from that game in this new iteration of the jungle map. Dice LA still have work to do though it seems because they aren't releasing this map in the summer patch and they've slated it for a fall patch release. Now the summer patch has been officially confirmed to include the Zavod 311 graveyard shift map with support for Conquest, Rush, Team Deathmatch, Obliteration, Domination, 
and Gunmaster. But for Gunmaster, there's a special new weapons preset, which is specifically made to make nighttime combat feel even more awesome. So I'm really excited to see what they've done there. And it seems to have been given a DLC name as well, Battlefield 4 Night Operations. The patch will also come with vehicle and weapon tweaks, improved netcode and other general bug fixes. As for a release date, September is all we have right now, but considering that Battlefield updates always drop on a Tuesday, we're looking at either the 1st, the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd or the 29th. Not far away now at all. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me some comments about how you think the jungle map is coming along and leave me a thumbs up as well. It is always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.